So Jamie, thanks for joining us today. So I have here four-time U.S. high jump champion, two-time Olympian. Mm -hmm. Did you expect all of the success to come? No, no, no. I, I was just having fun at first, and then in junior college, it was like a progression. It was like, okay, I want to try to get a scholarship, you yeah. know, and my mom couldn't afford to send me to school, so uh, that ended up happening, and I jumped a little higher and kept jumping a little higher, and then when I got to Eastern Michigan University, I, um, I, I, I didn't do as well as I wanted to the first season, and then I really committed myself even more, and you know, got down on my hands and knees and prayed even more, and, mm -hmm. and, and things started to happen that next year, and, and I was All-American, and a bunch of other stats that I put up on the board, but no big deal. You're being very humble. I mean, being a two-time Olympian is a pretty big feat. Yeah. And then decided to retire and got into acting, coaching as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. Why make that change? Well, uh, you know, I always, I always wanted to be an actor, and I was always afraid to tell people I wanted to do it because I was afraid that people would discourage me mm -hmm. from trying to be an actor. And then I looked back at my career, and I was, in 2004, I made the Olympic team, and, and I was thinking, you know, a lot of people discouraged me from doing track and field. A lot of people told me that, you know, it's really hard to make the Olympic team. Are you sure you can do it? I don't think you can do it, or you'll never be an Olympian. And, and you know, to those people who discouraged me, it made me think, well, what's stopping me from pursuing my dream as an actor, writer, producer, you know, um, nothing. So. I went after it, and, and not right away in 2008, as I started seeing um, the end of my career kind of come, I was like, I need to start setting myself up for something. And in 07, I did some short films, and in 08, I got in some acting classes and did some bunch of auditioning, and then I think 09 is when I met David, and he seen me in an in a acting class. David White. David White, yes, I, he seen me in an acting class, and he was like, hey, I got this film out in Michigan, you wanna come and do it? And I was like, like I was gonna say no. I was like, yeah. <laughs> and so uh, I went out there and we did a film called Jerusalem Countdown. Mm. And, it, and it was a small part, but it was, it was really fun. I enjoyed it. And he said, you know what, don't worry, I got something even better for you. And I wasn't sure and I was like, I didn't know him very well. So I was like, okay, you know, maybe if he calls me great, if not, it's okay. I, you know, I had a great time. Well, literally like a couple months later, he called me and was like, hey, I got this other script for you. It's called The Encounter. Mm. And I was like, He's like, read through it and let me know if you want to do it. I was like, yes, before he even sent me the script. I was like, yeah, of course. Yeah. But uh, he sent it to me, and it, it was a blast. And we ended up filming The Encounter, and, and The Encounter did really well. Mm. And they have went on and made more movies and TV shows after the yeah. show. So. Not just li little well, really, really, really well. Yeah, yeah. And then April 23rd, 2016, your life changed. 22nd, I believe. But yes, 22nd. it did. Um, I was coaching, and I was just working with some, you know, uh, Olympic hopefuls and we were doing some training routine stuff uh, that day and and I was showing them some drills and in my career I've done hundreds of backflips after I've uh, won competitions yeah. or just finished competitions and um, I did a backflip and my foot slipped I was I was on some astral turf and my foot slipped and I went from my feet straight to my head and um, as my body kind of went limp uh, the first thing I thought was, the first thing I heard was, don't worry, you just have to go through this, you'll be all right. Wow. And I thought, what the heck is that? And then I couldn't, I started trying to feel my legs and arms, I was like, oh my God, don't let me be paralyzed. And, um, and I was, I, from the chest down, and it was, it was very scary. And then, I, you know, all these, like my life kind of flashed before my eyes kind of thing, and mm. what would my life be, and what, what's going to happen, and, you know, and, and it was just a really traumatic uh, experience and um, you know luckily some of the athletes that were there were uh, faith-based people and uh, you know Christian uh, athletes and uh, you know they prayed for me right away they pulled out their Bibles and just prayed for me and I think you know I thank God that you know I'm here today because uh, you know something like that it, it, the slightest left right a little more pressure you know I might not have been here today mm. you know so what was your conversation with God like during those early days Jamie um, it was tough. God kept me positive, though, more than anything. Did you ever ask why? No, I never asked why. Um, I think for me, and I think with track and field, it always taught me that, you know, when you lose a competition, you, you figure out, okay, what could I have done better? Mm. Or how do I do better next time, you know? And at the point in time when this had already happened, for me, it was more so like, 
okay, how am I going to get out of this? Mm -hmm. How am I going to get back to my normal life? How am I going to get my strength and moving again, you know? And so that's, that was my hope. Like, it was always like, instead of why me, how come, and, and, and pitying whatever, went ha whatever happened, it was more so, you know, I got to be positive. I got to go after this. I'm going to, I'm going to walk again. I'm going to run again. Mm -hmm. You know, I, those type of thoughts came to my head. So, um, and I turned to God a lot of times when I was frustrated or irritated because I couldn't do something because things weren't as easy as they used to be, you know, and, and, and God helped me out. You know, I would just take five, 10 minutes and just speak to him out loud and just pray. And, and I felt better after that. Yeah. So yeah. the doctor said 30% chance of functionality mm -hmm. after your accident right. but you were focused on being able to walk again yeah yeah i'm focused on 100 percent recovery yeah, yeah. so uh yeah they, they they told my wife that um at the time was my fiance and she said no we're not accepting that mm -hmm. we're going to be 100 percent again and when then when she told me i said yeah i'm going to make a full recovery it might take some time but i, I got god on my side and i know he's going to see me through this well, actually, six months later, I was back on my feet, and then maybe a year later, I was walking again, do, taking like small yeah. steps, and then uh, in July of twenty uh, of uh, yeah last year, twenty two thousand seventeen, I was able to walk my wife. I was gonna say you can't aisle. forget that date. That's the <laughs> <No>. most important <laughs> date. <laughs> I was able to walk my wife down the aisle, which was a beautiful thing. And what did the doctor say today? You know, it was interesting. I um, I told you I was working on another TV show, and they had a they had a dinner, mm -hmm. and uh, it was just the writers, and it was at Buca de Pepo in Pasadena, close to where I live. And right at the next table over were a bunch of people, and I didn't know who they were. And as I got up and I, you know, got my forearm crutches, was getting ready to leave, they stopped me and they said, "Hey, aren't you Jamie Nieto?" And I was like, uh, "Yeah." <laughs> I was like, uh, "Yeah, I am." And they're like, "We were in the ICU when you got hurt." This whole table here is everybody who was working in the ICU. We know your story. We know who you are. And one of the ladies was crying. She saw me standing on my feet. She was like, I can't believe you've come this far. And she said, you have to come back. I said, yeah, when I got hurt, I told you I'm going to come back mm. when I'm running again. Mm. I'm not quite there yet, mm. but I will be back. And I hope you guys are still there, you know? Wow. Yeah, so it was, a, it was an amazing experience. But it was nice that they were able to see me. So, but on my other doctor's you know, my other doctors who are kind of seeing me progress, they're very happy. They're like, whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. Mm. And I'm like, prayer and hard work. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You are a walking miracle. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Jamie, for your time. No problem. Thank you.